Each journey has to come to an end. After nearly two months of traveling, the ride back to Switzerland, where we started, was the last stage of this overlanding trip to some of Europe's most northern and most remote places. Join the grand finale and the last part of this trip. Visit the small coastal town Bandholm in Denmark with me and ride with me through Germany all the way to Switzerland. These are our last minutes in Sweden. We are now at the booth to pay the toll because we are taking this huge bridge that connects Sweden and Denmark. The Öresund Bridge is the longest cable state bridge in the world that combines a railway and motorway bridge. It crosses the Öresund Strait between Sweden and Denmark, running nearly 8 kilometers from the Swedish coast to the artificial island Pebberholm in the middle of the strait. The crossing is completed by the 4 kilometer long Drogten Tunnel from Pebberholm to the Danish island Amager. So this is the border control and it's here due to COVID. Normally you would just um, be able to drive through, but now they check everyone. And we just decided that I go first because they normally control the first rider more if you travel together. And um, we're hoping to hide the paper license plate of my travel partner. And I have to admit I'm a bit nervous now. It would suck to get stuck here. and um, now I just escaped quick so nobody stops us anymore and I can see in my rear mirror that my travel partner is happy too. It didn't take long until it started to rain and because my travel partner and I had to take a few work calls we decided to look for a hotel earlier than later, still being in Denmark. Bantholm is a cozy old town with warehouses and idyllic yellow half-timbered buildings. In the middle of the 18th century, there was a blossoming of the town due to the discharging of grain and other farming products from the harbor. At its largest, the town had 53 shops. These days, Bantholm has only 500 inhabitants, but roughly 200,000 tourists a year visiting the tranquil village and its surrounding, like the famous Knutenburg Safari Park. We are in Bantholm now, which is on the island Lolland of Denmark. And we're on our way back to Germany. Made a stop here though, to enjoy one night in Denmark before we hit Germany and then Switzerland. Good morning everyone, we are in Denmark at the moment and we are about to take a ferry from Denmark to Germany on our way back to Switzerland and um, we hope that they're gonna let us in and continue riding because we still have this NAM license plate here which is not exactly allowed to um, ride with on the road. Now 
now we are approaching the ferry and this one is a bit different though than the ferry that we took to Norway um, because this one is a very short ride I think it's like 40 minutes or so and it takes us from the island Lolland here um, to the island Fehmarn in Germany and I think it departs every hour or so so there is no pre-booking necessary and you can just buy tickets at the counters the ones left behind Stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. This road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Looking back to Denmark made me immediately nostalgic but as well thankful and happy for the trip I was able to experience in the last weeks. Knowing that Scandinavia is just a ferry ride from Germany made saying goodbye even more easy. Time is gone and I grew up. Hello Germany! Behind me you can see the shores of the German country. It's nearly the end of our journey, but somehow I'm happy. Once we were back in Germany, we decided to travel mainly on major highways to do some kilometers. This is the reality of traveling too and I nearly forgot that because we have basically been taking very small roads in the last weeks and um, the north of course is much less populated and I have to admit that I really nearly forgot that traffic jams exist. So, welcome home to Germany. At 7 p.m. we were close to Frankfurt in Germany and realized that we would not make all the way back to Switzerland the same day. So we left the big roads to have a nice evening ride. The villages and houses here are so pretty. You call this architecture style in German Fachwerk and in English I think it's timber framing construction or something like that. And it's very typical um, for the area here. Yesterday we stopped at this lovely guest house close to Frankfurt and the funny thing is I didn't know it but um, I have been here before and I only realized when I came here um, during one of all the readings from my book presentation. So that's so funny. This is the last time I'm gonna have to pack all this mess into a little bag. Can't believe it. Last morning before returning home. When we departed from the area close to Frankfurt, the weather still looked kind of good, but that was about to change. Our last day of riding was like our first two weeks of this journey, pouring rain for hours. We are very close to Switzerland now. How crazy is this? And it's still pouring and I will drive in my front of my travel partner again just in case they stop us due to his license plate. And I really want to go home now in this rain and I really hope we're not gonna spend time with the police because of his license plate now. So fingers crossed. went very smooth and um, I think it rained too much nobody even looked at us closely and now we're in Switzerland only 93 kilometers left and then this trip is over
There is a certain feeling about returning home after a long trip. We return with a mind full of new encounters. And we lost our heart several times to beautiful places and all the people we met. And while we experienced life, while we discovered the world, it seemed to spin in the same pace we were traveling. But our home is still the same place we left it. The world seemed to stand still at home. It's a place we can return to, a safe harbor where we can review everything we just experienced. And home is the place that we will eventually leave again for new adventures. Maybe we need a nest to fly. This is the end of the story. I'm back home. This journey is over, but there always comes a next one. I want to say a big thank you to all of you who joined the Expedition North, watched my videos, commented and made this awesome community grow. It really means the world to me and I'm so happy about each of you who is part of this virtual trip. The journey is never over though. Next Thursday, we will visit one of my favorite places ever, Lake Como in Italy. Leave me a comment and thumbs up if you enjoyed the expedition north and stay tuned for all the new adventures about to come.